hard part about craft brewery in general is making it repeatable, is making it taste the same, whether it's in the tap room or whether it's in the grocery store. So the fermentation process has to be supported by a glycol chiller, it has to be supported by a machine that's constant. In my opinion, the chiller is the heart and soul. Um, it's what starts the whole fermentation process. So if the temperatures are swinging around, then the taste is gonna swing around. Uh, we have an entire tank of chilled water at 40 degrees. Not at 41 degrees, not at 39, but at 40 degrees. So our ability to measure and control temperature is absolutely critical to the quality of the beer and the consistency of the beer. The intelligent equipment gives me the peace of mind that I don't have to be here 24-7. So that if we lose electricity, if the city is not as reliable as our trailblazer, that I get notified, I can come in and make sure that everything keeps running the way it needs to be. As an architect, space is money. So it's important to be able to design equipment that maximizes space. We've got the rooftop mechanical units that are taking care of the tap room, HVAC. We've got VRV that handles the individual smaller spaces such as the kitchen and the bathroom. Then of course we've got the chiller that handles uh, cooling the glycol for all of our fermenters and the back of house production. We chose Daikin to be able to do this and has worked great. We've been very happy with all the equipment. And the chiller is absolutely critical that it's running 100% of the time. I need to keep my water cold, I need to keep the beer at the right temperature. We rely on the chiller to keep glycol cold. That glycol circulates through our fermenters and regulates our temperatures within one degree. So if I need that beer at 72 degrees and not 70 degrees, we have that control and it has to be all day long. If that cuts off for an hour or two hours, my temperature will rise up to 80, 90 degrees and then you start drinking whiskey instead of beer and that's no good. I know that's a lot to ask from equipment, literally be perfect all the time, every single day, never stop being perfect. Uh, and that, that is what we ask and that's what we expect from our chiller and that's what we get. As a brewmaster, that's really what I want.